Louise from Spiral Bright Insight. Um, we've got something quite exciting happening this weekend. So I wanted to do a short video just to kind of talk through how I'm feeling the energies. Um, we It's been a really big week. Um, the Aquarian energy is really strong because and we had Pluto and the Sun move into the sign last Saturday. And then we had our full moon yesterday with the axis of Aquarius and Leo being activated through that full moon energy. And it has been, that moon has been stunning. I mean, I can't see if it's, uh, I think it's set now, but um, it's just been so bright and so... Um, I just know present in the sky there was a moon bow around it for the previous two nights and in the mornings when I've been getting up um yeah just incredible so um what's going to happen tomorrow Saturday the 27th of January is Uranus is stationing direct now um this obviously happens every year because Uranus spends five months in retrograde motion um, but it is a particularly strong station this time because of the Aquarian influence. So um, Aquarius is um, Uranus's um, ruling planet. No, Uranus is Aquarius's <laughs> ruling planet. And um, so, you know, this adds a real sort of um, weight to this um, particular station. Now, it's stationing at 19 degrees, five minutes of Taurus. Um, it has been retrograde since August. And um, Uranus is one of the outer planets. So um, it doesn't necessarily affect us so much at a personal level. It is more of a collective energy. However, when it goes into retrograde motion, it forces us to go inwards and to sort of look at our inner world and our inner um self so you know we've had five months of really um sort of being encouraged invited to really look at how um we trust and in ourselves and how we value ourselves and it's also been um a time of you know really building up the courage to be the authentic versions of ourselves um, and to be open to change and inner change. Um, now, obviously, with the full moon in Leo yesterday, it's that kind of almost feels like a culmination of that really powerful energy. But it's definitely been a time of personal reflection. I don't know if you've sort of been aware of that. Um, I'm only really becoming aware of that now as I look back. Um, but yeah, with these outer planets, when they change direction, um, the, it does, we can feel it because um, I know Pam Gregory sort of compares the outer planets to like a big ship. Um, obviously, you know, these, um, it takes a while for them to slow down so that they can change direction. And, and but when they do, it is um, it's quite a big um, we, we notice we can feel it. And again, you know, I was thinking if you think I used to do a lot of aqua aerobics and the instructor <clears throat> would get us sort of in a circle and we'd be going around in one direction, sort of running or jogging through the water. And then she'd say switch direction. We'd all have to change. And it would be like the force of the water and the impact in that changing of direction really sort of pushed you back it was really quite um it was forceful and that's kind of what I'm feeling here with this station um it's you know someone else um described it as the giant awakening um which again you know it's yeah it, it feels like a big a big deal now Uranus um represents our sort of higher consciousness um and sort of the way humanity thinks. Um, as I said, it's very linked to Uranus, um, sorry, Aquarius, keep getting a pickle there, um, which is fixed air. So it is very much of the mind. So whereas Mercury is kind of our personal minds, Uranus is the collective mind with, um, you know, Aquarian being the collective humanity. And Uranus um, is really all about waking us up um, it is um, always going to threaten the status quo um, 
and, you know, shaking things up, waking things up, breaking through anything that has been stuck, causing chaos. Um, you know, we can't really avoid that truth. Um, Uranus does not sort of work in a predictable way. Um, so, you know, we can never really be sure what's going to happen when Uranus is activated in the chart. It's very eccentric. It's very maverick. And um, like I said, it's all about change, threatening the status quo, disrupting um, and really bringing the unexpected. So, you know, that kind of famous quote, expect the unexpected when Uranus is um, active sort of rings true. Now, um, it's also very electrical energy. So um, I'm kind of keep getting this vision of like a lightning bolt coming down from the sky, which is kind of what Uranus is doing. Um, but because Uranus is in Taurus at the moment, which is the fixed Earth sign, um, it really feels like, you know, wherever you have become stuck, um, stagnated, really fixed, kind of really, um, you know, stuck in your ways, unwilling to change, sort of very much in your comfort zone. Um, you know, with Taurus, um, it can become very, um, what's the word, just where everything sort of, you know, becomes completely um, solidified. And Uranus is here to break that apart. But unfortunately, Uranus is not always um, particularly gentle or um, necessarily even benevolent, it's certainly its duty is to wake you up and shake you up and break you out of things for your greatest and highest good. So the end result and the intention is really pure, um, but the way it happens can sometimes be, um, yeah, it's like a real jolt from, you know, out of the blue, lightning bolt, something comes from left field that you really didn't anticipate or see coming, so un unpredictable. But this is all about becoming unstuck. Now, because Pluto is also working with Aquarian energy right now, which is very much about transformation and evolution of humanity um, and the collective, this, this station just feels even stronger. And with the sun in Aquarius as well, um, yeah, this, this is kind of why I wanted to do this video. Um, we're going to notice or feel, because when that things are going to really speed up because when Uranus stations direct tomorrow, that means all our planets are in forward motion. So there's a real kind of whoosh, <laughs> let's go. Um, everything's heading forward now, sort of, there's no, um, well, there's always time for inner reflection, but it's more about the collective and what's going on, you know, the bigger picture. Um, obviously, Aquarius is very sort of encompasses the whole world, which we've been seeing a lot more of. So when things happen, it's going to affect all of us rather than just sort of pockets um, of, you know, parts of the world ind individually. So, um, yeah, we can expect some quite swift, possibly unexpected changes. Um, now, I did mention the electrical energy. I've noticed some quite strange things going on and um, with technology in the last week. So be aware of that. Um, that, yeah, things do feel a little bit um, sort of, well, a little bit freaky. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so just be sort of be more aware, um, certainly, over the weekend um, as this energy really ramps up. Now, the other thing I wanted to bring into this because it happens on the same day and it feels connected um, is the diamond um, star Rho Cancri or 55 Cancri. Now, I talked about this star in my full moon video, um, but the sun is going to come into an exact alignment with it on Saturday and um, not long after Uranus stations. Um, um, yeah, it's more at seven degrees of Leo. I think I said it was six degrees in the last video I did, but I've been trying to get the exact coordinates. So um, now this is a an opposition because the sun is in Aquarius and uh, Rokankri is in Leo. And sometimes when there are oppositions, it's not as strong as a conjunction because you're kind of, you know, there's distance in between the star and the planet. But when we are talking about diamonds, if you think, you know, it, it is like, um, you know, the sun is going to be shining its light on the diamond star. So when the sun shines 
its light on a diamond because of the um the structure of a diamond with all its many facets and um, the sun kind of the diamond will refract the light of the sun and you know sending off sparkles of light in all different directions and also in all different colors um and you know it is this is about sort of bending light and shifting light and spreading light around but in a very sort of unpredictable way one that creates absolute beauty and magic and marvel you know if you um you know i've had one of those diamond light catches in my window in the past and the way it sort of yeah causes these reflections it's beautiful so um you know this this is kind of the the image that i'm getting of this um you know this activation creating these different streams of light and sparks of light all around um but also you know with the diamond um planet can 55 can create the energies of that planet being activated you know we are really being asked to consider our value and our worth because you know diamonds are one of the most um, valuable stones um that you know we have in our world and also to think about how far we've come because you know diamonds are created from something that is you know effectively a piece of coal but when applied with extreme pressure it becomes and transforms into this beautiful diamond so again there's this message of you know, we are going through the mill right now. It feels like that. It's very intense. But, you know, what can happen when we experience and go through this time of huge transformation with the pressure that is being applied? You know, no one's sort of thinking it's easy right now. Um, I don't know anyone who's having a particularly easy time. But, it just feels like it's here to remind you that, you know, sometimes change and transformation does take that sort of effort, but the results and the rewards will be, you know, beyond what we can imagine. Um, and, you know, the fact that, you know, when we talk about ascension, we're talking about shifting from a carbon um, body into a more crystalline sort of diamond based um, physical vessel again you know with so much more light coming in it feels like this again is just another sort of point um on the path and on you know basically to that end destination and um, so really beautiful activation for us there um and again you know with um the diamond light codes coming through it's shifting our bodies it's shifting our energy it's increasing the frequency and the vibration diamond en energy is very purifying as well so again it's helping us to sort of become unstuck you know where we've become fixed where we've become stagnated that sort of energy is helping it's also bringing insights downloads so again this weekend is amazing you know if you do have the opportunity to meditate um or to connect with sort of star energies and star beings you know this is a brilliant time to do it so um it just it feels like a really exciting um time you know yet another one there's many more to come obviously uranus is going to be working its way up towards its meet with Jupiter in April, which again is going to be huge. Um, but for now, it just feels like, you know, yes, we're going to experience change. Yes, it's going to be turbulent because, you know, sometimes we have to be shaken out of our, um, I want to say stupor, but, you know, I think so many of us have been sort of moving along almost fast asleep to what's going on and kind of who we are and the, our potential and all of that you know and I talk a lot about this in my videos but this feels like a real sort of shake up wake up call um and sometimes you know if people are in the deep sleep they have to be kind of roughly shaken awake because they're kind of refusing to come around and um, so that's potentially what we are dealing with but again who knows it's just the energies we don't know how they're going to manifest um but yeah time for another big shift i feel so thank you so much for watching i'm louise at spiral bright insight and have an amazing weekend